What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammond, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be focusing on different ways that a narcissist can be actually telling you the truth. I know everybody says narcissists lie all the time, which is also true, but different ways that they subtly convey the truth to you. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. So yes, a narcissist or a toxic person will 100% insult you in a joking way or really insult you and then say, laugh out loud, I was just kidding. And if you knew her, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. A narcissist or a toxic person will say the meanest, most hateful thing to you and then, joke, and then pa try to pass it off as a joke. A lot of times they'll say it, they'll wait on your reaction and if you don't give them the reaction that, they're, that they want, they'll say it was a joke or that, they, or that they were just joking with you. Then they'll be really begin to insult you by calling you sensitive, say you don't know how to take a joke, and then they'll tell you to lighten up and things like that. It is a not so subtle way for a narcissist to say what they mean and also avoid accountability at the same time. They will do this in person and they'll do it through text messages or emails and things like that. They'll say some hateful ass stuff to you via text message, wait for your response, and then put laugh all out in the second message. Sometimes these joking insults can lead to bigger arguments and things like that. So controlling your reactions is your greatest power against a narcissist. So welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Hope y'all enjoyed that video because we're about to hop right on into it. Um, so yeah, y'all. I know narcissist, most narcissistic people are going to be compulsive and also pathological liars. They're, going to, they're just going to just lie because it's part of the being. Narcissists lie for absolutely no reason. Don't need a reason to lie. Just absolutely, just come out of nowhere and just lie. I've done it. A lot of narcissistic people do it. It just comes out of nowhere. Just like, I be, I be wanting to tell the truth. And the truth, like narcissistic people will lie when the truth works. Like the truth will work right here. The truth will fit and nobody will, nothing will change. But narcissist, it just, it just comes out. Lying is power sometimes, y'all. But that's for a whole nother video. I've done a few videos online. But different ways that narcissistic people convey the truth to you. Because I say this all the time, y'all, that narcissists will tell you the truth. You just have to be ready to receive it. You, you just have to listen to them and kind of wade through the swamp of BS. There's a swamp of BS. You don't want to get into the swampy narcissistic waters, but sometimes you have to, to be able to get there, to be able to get to it and get that truth from them. So a lot of say most narcissistic people are going to lie to you. They just are. So one way that a narcissist will, lie, will tell you the truth is like I said in the video, the previous video, the short form video you saw, is by joking you with an insult. It's like a joking insult. They will insult you and cover it with a joke, but they mean what they say. They mean it. If, they tell, if they're joking with you, it's like, oh goodness gracious, you, you about to pop out those pants, ain't you? Ha <laughs> ha, joking, I'm just, I'm just joking, ha <laughs> ha. No, they were just trying to subtly insult you and tell you that you're over, they think you're overweight because they want to hurt your feelings. But, as a way to protect themselves, because they're telling you their truth, their truth, because they're telling you their truth, as a way to protect themselves, they'll just put, put it off onto you and tell you if you don't respond the way they want you to respond, they can just tell you that you're too sensitive, you don't know how to take a joke, you're uh, way too, it, it just, they'll just talk junk to you. They'll try to minimize your response. So it's just like a narcissist sending a crazy ass text message talking trash to you, but then putting laugh all out. They'll, they'll send the message. But then they put laugh all out in the next message. They'll separate those on purpose because they want you to respond before they sit in the laugh out loud. I'm just telling you, that's one way a narcissist will tell you the truth is by like insulting you. They and they'll they cover it with a joke. Another way that they'll tell you the truth is they'll put it onto someone else. They will blame someone else. They'll tell you this elaborate ass story, right? They'll tell you an elaborate ass story, and. Uh, they, they, they'll, they'll tell you this elaborate ass story, but they'll put their cousin into it, or their coworker into it, or their friend into it, or somebody else into it. But if you read through the BS, a lot of times you realize the person that they, they're telling that story about is themselves. It's just a sly, subtle way that they'll confess to you. You know what I mean? They, they'll confess to you just to, to, to get out of the system. Narcissists, it's like duper, they call it duper's delight. I saw Angie Atkinson on TikTok one day to talk about duper's delight. And that's what they call it. It's like they get a high from tricking you and making it just confessing. It's like sinister. So they'll tell you exactly what they've done, but they'll just say their cousin did it. Let me tell you the story about what my cousin did. My cousin been clapping the steam off these cheeks of this girl at work. I told him to leave her alone. 
He don't be listening to me. He got something good at home. But those cheeks just be clapping to the sound of the raptor. It sound like the rap the horse hooves from the raptor are coming like. That's how it sounds. The rapture is coming. Or something like that. You know what I mean? So, but then I just I told him to stop. He has something good at home, but he don't listen to me. But look, I hope he hopefully he'll stop one day before he loses everything he got. Whole time it's them clapping their co clapping their coworker. Or whole time it's them getting clapped by their coworker. Whoever it is. You know what I mean? Women can be narcissists too. I know I got a, a growing male audience. Yes, y'all. Women can be narcissists as well. You know what I mean? But you, you see it though. So a lot of people that I deal with and I talk to understand it but like i said you have to see that they'll tell you the truth y'all they'll tell you like i said they'll joke with you and tell you the truth they'll just outright tell you the truth or whatever you know what i mean and just like it'll t tell you one of their friends did it or oh, my friend did this my cousin did this my sister did this my co-worker did this whole time it's them whole time it's them and another way that they'll tell you the truth about what they're who they are and what they're going to do to you or what they've done in the past is they'll just be look they'll just honestly they'll tell you They'll tell you in the beginning all the errors and mistakes they've made, and then they'll be overly honest up front and tell you the stuff that they've done in the past, hoping that it lowers your guard down because they're being honest about it. Hey, look, I've been a lying, cheating ass, manipulative narcissist for like the last 10 years. I've had 45 partners over these last 10 years. I've cheated on every single one of them. But guess what? You're different. You're special. And they convince y'all that you're different and you're special. And they'll tell you the truth directly to your face. And you, 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 rose colored glasses, you just ignore it. And then they do the same thing to you. You become victim, cheap, cheap victim number 46. They'll tell you directly to your face what they're going to do to you. They would, they will look you directly into your, into your face and tell you what they're going to do to you. And hopefully that you'll forgive them. And hopefully you'll take this brief moment of honesty as like a, an olive, a pre olive branch, you know, for your for for the relationship so when they do do what they're going to do to you they can just always lean back and lie and just like look i told you the truth why would i lie to you i'm not gonna cheat on you i cheated on 45 other people but you special y'all stop that type of stuff oh goodness gracious y'all have to have to stop it they'll they will just tell you the truth they'll joke about it they'll just outright lie. And it, like i said They'll just do that type of way. No, no. They'll joke and insult you with the truth. They will absolutely tell you the truth and say one of their friends did it. You know what I mean? Or tell you a story. Or tell you some, or another way that they'll tell you the truth is by hypotheticals. Hypotheticals. They'll, give, they'll tell you these elaborate ass hypothetical situations and scenarios that no way they've done before. But what if they've done this before, right? They'll look at you directly in your face and like, you know what? What if, uh, what if I slept with your mom? <laughs> I'm just joking. Look, look, I'm just joking. I just want to. But what, what would happen though? Like, what would happen? What, how would you react if you found out? Oh wow, you break up with me? You oh you you take my life? You send me to you send me to meet God? Oh, good thing I'll never do that. Wink. Already clapping your mama. Already clap getting clapped by your daddy. Whatever. They'll make these hypothetical, crazy ass scenarios up just to gauge your reaction. Because typically your response will be like, why would you ask me something like that? Oh, no, no, no reason, no reason. Y'all, listen to these stories. If they keep coming up with these hypotheticals out of nowhere, yeah, sometimes could they be absolutely be joking? Yeah, but trust your intuition. If it feels weird, it probably is weird. Your intuition is there to protect you and to guard you from, from people like this. So they keep going over these hypothetical-ass situations with you, and you're just like, what the hell are you talking about? You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense, any, any type of sense, thing like that. Trust your intuition. They're probably lying. They might be clapping your mama. They might be getting clapped by you. Whatever. They're clapping your cousin, your sister, your friend, whoever getting, who, where, who, at wherever the clapping is coming from. You ain't know, hide the clap. Like in, uh, what's it, uh, the conjury. You want to play hide the clap? They hiding the clap. Whoever cheeks they clapping, they're hiding it from you. So I just feel like in these situations, what you're dealing with, when you're dealing with narcissistic people, just listen better, y'all. Listen and receive information better. And if it feels weird, trust your intuition, y'all. Your intuition is bu will bubble to the surface. I, I, something told me this didn't feel right. It, it doesn't feel right. Stop going against your intuition. The more time you go against your intuition, the less you start to trust it. Like, I'm not, my intuition be wrong all the time. If it feels wrong, it probably is wrong. If it feels like they're lying, they might be lying. Investigate. They don't come up with these. They don't tell you this stuff for no reason, y'all. Narcissists don't do that. There's always a reason behind things, y'all. Narcissistic people don't do anything for no reason. They don't do anything for no reason. They're trying to confess. They're trying to trigger you. They're trying to do something. They're trying to get something from you. So you have to remain in power. You have to remain in your truth. And you have to remain sane. 
But stay safe and protect yourself, y'all, because they'll tell you the truth. You just have to be willing to listen to it. You have to be w willing to wade through the swamp of narcissistic BS to get to what the actual truth is. Because they're not pretty, sometimes they're just not going to tell you the truth. Even when you have evidence, they're not going to confess to you. And you don't need a confession because you have evidence. Cop, cops and you know, prosecutors and DAs and the judge all prosecute you without, without a confession if they have enough evidence. So the same thing applies to you. But anyway, anyways, y'all, thank you for tuning in to another episode. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all because as much as y'all learn from me, I promise you, I learn even more from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mental illness is out. Peace.